Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Luz and today's video is gonna be an empties video. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos. I have a basket full of stuff that I finished since moving here and I'm ready to share what I liked what I didn't. So I'm gonna rate these things on a scale of one to five, five being definitely would repurchase and a one being will not be repurchasing ever again. So let's go ahead and get started. Guys, 2018 is gone. Time to get rid of that trash. Get the trash. Get rid of the trash. Right off the top is this Clearasil Stubborn Acne Control 5-in-1 Daily Pads. I like to use this as part of my nighttime routine. After cleansing, I go in with this as my toner, but only at night, and I absolutely love it. Def this is definitely a 5, and I keep repurchasing it. It comes in little pads that are so easy to just swipe on your face and then toss. Um, I absolutely love them. And again, number five, I would rate this a five out of five. The next thing is this bounce bounce curl cream gel. I purchased this online. They are an online only company, I believe. And they are very popular on Instagram. I really liked the way that this left my hair. I thought that it was nice and uh, light enough for every day that it doesn't get too much of a build up but sometimes if you go and put in a lot then it can it can make your hair quite stiff that's something and crunchy but nothing that will leave it even though it does get crunchy it won't leave it flaky after you know you touch your hair or whatever um, I would say I would give this a four out of five I would repurchase this, but it's not my first choice just because it's online only. And I don't know, I don't wanna pay the shipping, I guess. I don't know, call me cheap. But um, yeah, I think it's a really good product. And they also have a shampoo and conditioner I have not tried, I've only tried this. And I'd say it's a four out of five. Next up is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Coral Moisture Co-Wash. I did not like this. I would say it's a two out of five. I bought this because I wanted to try something from this line, the Shea Moisture. I don't have a lot of things from them. I don't think I've tried a lot of things from them. So I really wanted to try it and I needed a co-wash. I don't use co-wash anymore after this one. I didn't repurchase another one. Um, it didn't, I don't like the way it smelled. I didn't like the way it left my hair. Um, the only thing I did like is that it's like really clean. There's no sulfates, no parabens, no mineral oil. I look for that kind of stuff in, for my hair stuff, for my hair care. But I didn't like the way it smelled and I just didn't like the way it left my hair. So yeah, I would not be repurchasing this. I'm sorry. Staying with the hair, this is the OGX Quenching Coconut Curls Frizz Define Moisture Mousse. I like that it's not an aerosol. I like that it's a pump and it's nice and clean. This is a five out of five. I definitely will be repurchasing. I am using my backup and I need to go to Ulta and pick this up because that's where I usually get it and I try to find it on a sale where they have like a two for five or buy two get one free something like that then i'll try to pick that up at that time i really recommend it because it doesn't leave your hair really crunchy it's really clean the ingredients are nice and clean and it doesn't need an aerosol it's like a pump and it's nice oh it's really lightweight it's not like a creamy mousse it's like a very lightweight mousse i really like it let's stay with hair this is the Brogio Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. This is also A5. It's something that I constantly use. It is on the pricey side. I only get it when it's a sell. It's a five out of five. It's an exfoliating shampoo. It's great if you don't wash your hair every day like I do. And if you use a lot of product on your hair and you get a lot of flakes because of the amount of product that you get, you get a lot of flakes like on your scalp. This is great. I use it once a week absolutely love the way it makes my scalp leave, leaving like really tingly it has like a mint it says it's it doesn't say on here but it does have like a mint kind of feeling like a peppermint or maybe tea tree or i don't know something some sort of mint and it leaves it really like, like a nice cooling effect it feels really good on this on the scalp and then you do have to use a really deep conditioning mask afterwards because it can um leave it a little bit like stripey, like too clean. 
So you, I do like to use the mask, one of their masks to go with it, the um, deep conditioning mask, I think it's called, but um, really good, I recommend it, five out of five. And let's do some skincare. So I got these e.l.f. wipes. I love them for post-workout. I love them for, um, you know, if you have a sweaty mess on your face and you just wanna clean it off or right before makeup. Um, really good, recommend it. I like the smell of it. And they're, I think I've only seen them at Walmart. So I would consider this a five out of five because I would repurchase again. Keeping on skincare, five out of five. This is the only brand of micellar water that I use. I keep repurchasing it. I go between this one and the blue one. I think they have a green one now. Um, but yeah, definitely five out of five and I would repurchase. And the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe. I get this at Ulta, five out of five. I would definitely re be repurchasing it. I wanna try the cucumber one. This is the rose water one. And I wanna try the cucumber one because I think it would be nice and refreshing. I like that it has the glycerin so it leaves like a dewy effect on the skin. I like to use this after I cleanse and during the day. After I cleanse, instead of using the pads at, at night, I use the pads and during the day, I like to use like this after cleansing just to bring back a little bit of moisture into the skin since when you wash it, you know, you're taking removing and taking away the excess. So you wanna go ahead and re-moisturize. That's what I use this for and then five out of five. For skincare, I finished up the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This was a deluxe sample and it lasted me quite a while. It does a great job at removing the makeup. This is the first step I use. I do when removing my makeup after I take off my lashes. On dry skin, you grab a little bit. It's kind of like a balmy texture. Rub it between your hands to warm it up and then massage it into your face and it does a good, it leaves it really messy, like it's gonna look like a hot mess, but then you go in with either a damp towel or just water and rub it through and clean it out and then I go in with my cleanser. So this, I would say it's a five out of five. It is the first time I bought this. So I'm gonna go in and get the second, the full size because it's that good. Although, guys, it's, I'm trying to see if there's like a, if anybody out there knows if there's a drugstore version of this, I'm trying not to go into Sephora. I'm avoiding <laughs> Sephora at all costs. Um, so I'm trying to find something at the drugstore. If there's any makeup junkies out there that know a good dupe for this from the drugstore, let me know in the comment section. Let me know, girl, because I gotta go get it. Oh, for skincare, I still have some more stuff and it's so much fun. Okay, so this one, the Ole Henriksen Transform Plus Glow Cycle Retin ALT Power Serum. This is awesome. I use this during the day um the serum so after the toner i would go in with this serum and it's nice and lavender i picked it up during a sale a few months back i did a haul on this i completely recommend this such a great product the hype is real about this so good i miss it i really miss it i miss it so much but next year i'm picking it up for sure Something else that I will be picking up from the same brand is the Truth Serum by Ule Henriksen. This two, these two together are bomb skis. But if you had to choose only one, it's just, I would go with this one if you had to choose only one. But this one is so good for brightening. Um, if you have discoloration like I do, this does a really good job at trying to diminish. I didn't find that it took them away completely, but I did find them to be kind of diminished um, over time. So I completely recommend it. This is vitamin C um, and you can use this day or night, day and or night, but I would mostly use it during the day. And it's it's a five out of five. It's, it's that good. You guys are gonna think I'm obsessed with this brand and I am because they're really good. The Ole Henriksen eye cream, the brightening eye cream, uh, five out of five. I would definitely recommend this even though it's pricey. I don't mind spending a little bit extra on skincare But right now like I said I'm trying to stay on a budget So I'm not going out and buying it right now, but next year I'm coming back for you, baby because it's so nice underneath the eyes It's moisturizing enough and brightening enough like it's not like concealer like it's not gonna take away any you know cor any like darkness but it's gonna brighten it up a tiny bit it's really nice and moisturizing it looks good underneath makeup or without makeup so definitely a five out of five okay, my voice is gonna go lost in this thing 
I got three more skincare things to share with you guys that I finished. This, the next one is the Dr. Brandt vacuum clean, cleaner or cleanser. No, cleaner. Yeah, it's a pure, it's a pore purifying mask. I got this in the back boxy charm. And I would not purchase the purchase this on my own. I didn't like the smell for what it did. I know some things just, you know, they smell because of the ingredients. This smells like sulfur, like really strong, and I didn't think it did that well of a job. It's probably a three out of five. Um, I wouldn't, that means that I wouldn't go out of my way to buying it, but if I got it like in another boxy charm, I wouldn't be upset about it. I wouldn't give it away or, you know, or try to get rid of it. I think it's a really nice mask um, to remove impurities, but it's, I wish it was more of a mud mask. That's kind of what I was expecting, but it's not, and the scent is not that good. So yeah, this one is a three out of five. And then, oh, this one is a five out of five. This is, I bought two of these already. It's, I am gonna purchase the third one next year. This is, I'm talking about the Vir Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Face Oil. This face oil is so nice and absorbs so nicely into the skin. And I have combination skin. I can get quite oily during the summer. And this does not make me look like a grease ball. It just sinks right in. I like using this at night after my moisturizer or sometimes instead of my moisturizer just to lock everything in and leaving my skin nice and hydrated for the night in the morning when i wake up i don't look like a hot mess or a hot grease ball my skin is nice and supple i really recommend this product it's a five out of five it's pricey though it's so pricey and the last skincare product i have is this little tiny sample of the fresh rose facial toner infused with soothing rose water um i would say a four out of five i would repurchase this but i'm not gonna go out of my way it's a little bit too pricey um but it smells really really good i'd rather use the mario badesco one because it's so much affordable than this one so that's why i have given it a four out of five but it's a nice one it's a nice little um hydrating facial spray that um you can use like a toner or just to like freshen up or to set your makeup or as a primer before your makeup it's so many different ways to use setting sprays um or facial sprays but this one's nice i like it that was all the skincare now let's do some makeup shall we so i finished one of these cushion foundations this is a five out of five my favorite drugstore cushion foundation so affordable it looks good on the skin it matches me pretty good even in the winter and in the summer it, it the same shade seems to be okay because it's not it's a thin formula you can build it up i mean you can pack it on and then you'll see the really really difference in shade but it's because it's nice and thin i think it meshes well even in the winter or the summer um so yeah i have a backup already waiting for me so five out of five and just for reference i'm in the shade honey beige medium tan warm um yeah so this is a five out of five and then i finished the vitalist healthy elixir foundation finally if you haven't seen my project pan video update i did say that i finished this so here it is all nice and done if you have if you want to check out my project pan video i'll link it up here you guys can take a look i finished some goodies already guys and it's my first project pan it's super exciting and fun to do so uh check it out guys um so yeah so i finished this i would recommend this foundation yes five out of five i would repurchase i just need to get through a whole bunch of foundations that i have back there so at the moment i'm not buying any foundations i'm not buying makeup period so yeah but i would say a five out of five i definitely recommend this i have a few more makeup goodies to go through that these next two are also part of the project pan and items that i finished so i'm just going to go through those really quickly the first one is the nars primer pore and shine control primer finished this one i would say it's like a two out of five not really anything spectacular next is this concealer from wet and wild um, i would say a five out of five i would repurchase so affordable so easy to find shade is good there's quite a variety of shades you can build it up build it down you can use it as highlight really really good i completely recommend this five out of five and then the next few items are not from the project pan but i finished them and their makeup the first one is this it cosmetics brow powder i would say it's a four out of five it's pricey um the 
only reason why I have these is because they've come in my BoxyCharm and I bought, the first time I ever tried it, I bought it with my own money and it's really, really, it was really, really nice. And then I got it one in a BoxyCharm and then I got another one on a BoxyCharm again. So I have one more that I need to go through, but I would say it's a five out of five, a four out of five, just because the price point, um, I find like brow pencils, you can find them at the drugstore for so much cheaper and so much easier to find. Um, but again, the color is just a universal color, so I really like that about this one. Um, you press the harder you press, the more pigment you get, and the lighter the stroke, you get lighter pigment. So I recommend four out of five. Next is the Bare Minerals um, Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. I would say this is a four out of five. I'm between a four and a five. I'd say four and a five, four point, four and a half there. Four and a half out of five. I like it only in the winter. I don't like it in the summer because I get oily here and then I feel like it doesn't blend in really good. And I only liked it in dry climate. I did not like it in the humid climate at all. Not at all. But in the dry climate, like here in Vegas, this would look so good on me. Even in the summer, because it's dry heat, um, it would look really good. So, a, what's it? Four and a half out of five, just because it's so picky. Like my skin and this sometimes just don't mix. And then lastly, it's the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I finished this one up. Um, I would say this is a five out of five. I would go out and pick up some more of these concealers. I like. I haven't tried the new color range and formula. This is from the old one. Um, so um, I need to get go through a few more concealers and uh, I'm gonna pick up some drugstore concealer. I saw the new L'Oreal concealer and I wanna give that a try, but I'm waiting till I finish a few of the concealers I already have before I go out and buy that. Did I say it? five out of five? Okay, so the next item I should have done earlier when we were talking about the other, um, face wipes so this one is a five out of five you get this brand at walmart it's just a job i don't use this to remove makeup from my skin so much unless i'm traveling i do it mostly to like clean up when i'm doing my makeup clean my hands clean swatches stuff like that um walmart has like a two pack of these for like really really cheap so this is what i usually pick up um five out of five and then for <laughs> shits and giggles i have this Deodorant, I really like this. Um, I would say five out of five. I would go and purchase it again. I've bought this like three or four times. This scent's really, really nice. It's not too girly, not too powdery. Um, it's nice and fresh. I really like it, so five out of five. And then two more things and we're done, guys, because my voice is just getting a little bit dry. I finished up this ruler ball from Victoria's Secret called Love. It smells so good. I love keeping this in my purse. I always keep like a ruler ball or like a sample perfume in my purse. Um, just to fresh up, freshen up on the go. Um, these don't last a whole lot on me, but... It still smells nice. Especially like after you're done eating, you know, you go and sit, you're going home with your date or your boo or whatever, and you sit in the car or you go into the bathroom before you go into the car. You know, you just freshen up in the bathroom and you come out smelling good. After dinner, you don't smell like food anymore. Okay. That's why I like keeping roller balls and stuff like that in my purse. Smell good. I want to smell good for me because I don't want to smell like food because then I'm going to want to eat myself. And that's not fun. Okay. And lastly, the last thing I have is this nail polish I finished from OPI. Um, I do my own nails. My nails look like crap today. Can't really tell because they're like a nude. You can probably tell, but... I don't care. Um, I finished this one, it's all right. I would say it's a four out of five, a little bit too pricey. I've really been liking instead the Sally Hansen gel compared to the OPI gel. I like these better, so I would say this is like a four out of five just because of the price point. Other than that, eh, it's a good one. So we got through the basket, guys. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I didn't bore you guys to death with all my trash. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, go ahead and do so now. I'm not judging you. I won't say nothing. But yeah, thanks again. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys and stay blessed. Bye.